Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do a cut crease. Okay, so before we delve into the cut crease step, there are a few things that I feel like are important to mention. They kind of go hand in hand with getting that clean eyeshadow look that you want. But if you want to skip to the cut crease part, I'm going to put a little time stamp right here. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to mention, first step, is applying a good eyeshadow base. Applying a good eyeshadow base is super important. You can make 99 cent eyeshadows look like Makeup Forever MAC shadows with a good base. So my favorite base is MAC Paint Pots. Okay, the next tip that I have is applying a transition shade. And I like to use any warm brown shade. This one is Burnt Orange from Anastasia. And if you want like a, a more rich transition shade, you can use a shade like this. This is Sienna. This is also Morocco from Anastasia. And I prefer using matte up there matte shadows as opposed to shimmery because I think it's cleaner looking. And the brush that I use for that step is a MAC 224. This is a fluffy brush and it's going to apply the product really lightly because the looser the, the bristles are, the more lightly it's going to apply the product. Are these called bristles? I don't know. After I apply the transition shade, now I apply the crease. An important part is the brush position. If you hold the brush up like this, the edge of the brush is gonna give you a hard line. So you're gonna wanna hold it straight in or at a slight angle upwards, and it's gonna do the blending for you, and it's also gonna create that nice defined line that we want. I like to use mattes in the crease just because, again, like I said, I think it's cleaner. My favorite brush for the crease is MAC 217. I also like to go back in with my fluffy brush and my transition shade just to smooth things out. Next I do the lid and you want to use a flat brush like this. This is a MAC 242 brush and I just pack it on and you can even be really precise and like get that line nice and clean. The reason why I always do the lid after the crease is because if you did the lid first and then you did the crease, when you did the crease, it would take some off, some off the lid. Does that make sense? Okay, so now for the cut crease. I use this little brush. You can see it's basically a flat brush. The, the edge is slightly rounded, but it's not super tiny. A tiny little brush is gonna get that sharp line for you, but then like good luck blending it out and keeping that sharp line. Whereas if you use a brush like this and you hold it downward, you're gonna get that sharp line and it's gonna blend upwards for you. You want to start off with very little product on the brush and then you're just going to hold that brush upwards and really lightly drag it where you want to create that line. Just using the very edge of the brush, but when I want to blend it, I kind of lay it a little bit more flat on the lid and I just drag it upwards and it's just going to go ahead and blend it out for you. Then if I have any imperfections or I have any areas that I feel like um, are a little bit uneven, I'll take go back in with like my crease brush, the 217, and go ahead and smooth them out. Maybe I should do it on my hand. So like when I'm using the edge of the brush, just the edge, whatever, I get that line, right? And then I would stay on that line, but then at more of the brushes in contact with the lid, hold it like this, and it just blends it out for you. I don't know if that demonstration was totally unnecessary. So yeah, I hope that this was helpful and that you all can do a cut crease. I kind of left mine open, but you can connect it to the wing and, you know, do like a V kind of. Um, if you don't get it right away, don't worry. Like, it takes time and practice. I think that's all I have to say. I hope this video is helpful. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and leave me your video suggestions below because I am reading all of your comments. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye. My phone just died. That's probably a good thing. Jeff it just body slammed a teddy bear. <coughs> What's funny out there? I'm having an off day. Just putting it out there. Yeah, but that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Why did you say?